Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, it's time for me to do a little bit of my arts and crafts, get in my place of zen and talk to you guys. Now people always say, Jason, why are you qualified to give advice or help anybody? Simply put, because I have made a lot of really stupid fucking mistakes in my life. Now I'm going to let that sink in for a minute, everyone can have a laugh there, people who hate me. However, I recognize that I've made mistakes. I will learn from my mistakes. Wisdom is a learning from your mistakes. And in my 39 years on this earth, I have made my share of them in many, many life endeavors. But I'm smart enough to learn from them. And I met a young man last night uh, with some injuries who learned from his. And I'll share that with you guys further into the video. But the problem is that we got too many people on YouTube who make their mistakes and they're either too proud or too ignorant or too stupid to admit their mistakes. And yet people are listening to them and that's dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. And Nick Wright, who I'm going to have to slam until he quits doing this silly stuff and quits injuring all of you with his bad advice. Again, he should probably, you know, stick to just entertainment videos because he clearly doesn't know anything about lifting or injury prevention because he keeps getting hurt over and over. Now, Nick, I did find out uh, in his video talking about steroids, actually, the other day. People gave me the timestamp. He, in fact, has returned to wide grip benching. Now, at what point, when you're someone who people look up to, you're someone who gives advice to an audience of a couple hundred thousand people about training, at what point do you step up and say, Guys, this is how I got hurt. This is how I know I got hurt. This is what all the experts tell me. It's how I got hurt, and this is what I need to do about it. And then you go right back to doing the same ignorant, stupid, butt-fucking retarded shit that hurt you in the first place. Right on camera for everyone to see as an example. Um, Jesus Christ. At what point is that not set the most horrific example possible for an impressionable young audience? And that's exactly what he did. What more is there to say about it than that? <laughs> wow. So that's enough about Nick Wright in this video. Let's talk about this other young gentleman that I met uh, training yesterday, young bodybuilder. Actually, I don't know if he's that young, probably late, mid to late 20s, but I'm an old motherfucker, and so, you know, to me, that's young. That's a nice young kid in his prime. Man, I loved being in my 20s. But, uh, yeah, he had a patellar tendon tear on his left leg. Fortunately for him, it wasn't a full tear. He had a nice surgical scar, but they were able to sew the tendon back up, suture it up, and uh, we were talking. And he was doing a lot of where he's now rehabilitating it. He's doing quad work after he does all his posterior chain work. So he's doing hamstrings, quads more. And then he, he made the astute observation that I was chatting with him about it just to see if he understood the nature of his injury. Sure enough, he did. He realized and he made quite a profound uh, statement. A lot of bodybuilders don't grasp stuff like this. So I thought it was a pretty profound statement. Of, you know, everyone always wants to work on all the show muscles, the stuff on the front, the stuff they can see in the mirror. And they end up neglecting the stuff behind and they get in balance and they end up tearing things. He goes, and that is what happened to me. He recognizes how he got hurt and wants to do something to prevent it from happening again in the future. That's wisdom, boys and girls. That is wisdom. That is the way people who are going to be successful in their endeavors in life do so. They realize how they messed up. And they understand that a mistake, every mistake that you make, is an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to better yourself. It is an opportunity to gain knowledge and wisdom through your mistakes. As long as you survive those mistakes and you're still upright and taking on air, that's an opportunity, my friend. And he realized that. 
and understood that. And then he went further and said, but you know, and I know I've neglected my glutes and my hamstrings and things, and this gives me an opportunity to focus on them. Again, young man who makes a mistake and sees an opportunity in it, a way to improve himself. And that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. You can't beat that. That guy needs to be on YouTube, not in your name. This is like Nick Wright and uh, Kenobi. I mean, these ignoramuses really shouldn't even be up here giving advice. They're hurting people. That young man would probably do much better on YouTube because he actually has something to offer with statements like that. He could actually teach people from his mistakes. That's what we need. And instead, we have ignoramuses who don't learn anything from their mistakes, and they go right back to doing the same stupid shit. I mean... But that impressed me. So we'll talk about this. Let's be positive with this. That impressed me. The guy recognized his mistake, learned from it, and then found opportunity in it. So now he focuses on his hamstrings and his glutes more, and then does his rehab quad work afterwards. So they're coming first for him. And in the long term, he's going to end up being more well-rounded and better balanced from it. And because the tear was only partial, he is probably going to be better and stronger a year from now than before he hurt himself. And he's going to be more balanced. And that's the thing. Uh, he hit something that's profound that everyone needs to understand. Everyone, particularly YouTubers and people on here, they want those show muscles, show muscles, and they forget about the go muscles. Show muscles are usually on the front. Go muscles are on the back. The go muscles are what keep you from getting hurt. Show muscles look good. They look good from the front. They look good in the mirror. They have their uses in the real world. But when they are overdeveloped and your go muscles, the whole posterior side of your body is weaker, you are far, far more prone to injuries. Knee injuries, back injuries, and shoulder injuries. If you really want to be pain-free, injury-free, you want longevity in this game. Longevity in training, putting a heavier focus on the posterior chain, your back. All of your back. Everything from the traps to the spinal erectors and everything in between is your back. Your glutes, your hamstrings. That is how you protect your knees. That's how you protect your shoulders. Strong rear delts, strong rotator cuffs will help insulate your shoulders from injury. They're, they're not a 100% fail-proof way to do it, but they will certainly help. They'll increase your odds of not hurting yourself, not hurting your shoulders. Strong hamstrings give your knee joint far more stability so that when you have to run or sprint, or if you ever in an emergency where you got to run and twist, pivot on your heel, pivot on your foot, you are far, far less likely to have a knee joint stability problem that rips something if you have very, very strong hamstrings. Being posterior chain dominant should be preferred for any field athlete or contact sport athlete, but that applies to emergency situations also. And you never know, emergency situations could be literally anything from a life and death struggle to being hit by a car to having to sprint uh, to get away from a threat, to picking up a person and running, carrying a, a, another human being out of a bad situation. I mean, there's countless things that are emergency situations that could put you in a spot to where you rip a hamstring or you damage your actual knee joint. And strong hamstrings are an insulator against that. So that and having a strong core, again, your core includes your spinal erectors, is also how you keep from hurting your back. So working on that posterior side, your go muscles instead of your show muscles are the best protector that you can do with your training as far as keeping yourself injury free for the rest of your life. There's no way in life to guarantee that you're going to be injury free or that something's not going to happen to hurt you. But... I like to look at it this way. If you're going to be forced to play a game of Russian roulette, at least try to reduce the number of bullets in the chamber. If you have the ability to do so, and in this case you do. Again, you may not always beat the odds, but you can sure stack them in your favor. 
And if you're already going to train and work out, why wouldn't you? Why would you train in a way that's going to have a higher chance of injuring you in and of itself, even during training, when you do have the option of training in a way that's going to not only reduce your chance of getting hurt in the gym, but it's going to help you in accidents or real-world struggles or emergencies that happen from hurting yourself. The fact of the matter is, having all that stuff stronger will actually even give you a better chance of surviving being hit by a car walking down the street. Or surviving and impacting your own car crash. These are things that can't always be avoided in life, but training and fitness should be all-encompassing. It should help you do better in every aspect of your life in some way, and that includes surviving bad situations. And we can't always control that. You can't prepare for that. But at least use your training to give yourself a better fighting chance. Why not? You're already in the gym. You know, that's the way I look at it. So, again, guys, focusing on those go muscles instead of the show muscles is actually a big part of injury prevention, not just using good technique, not just using proper deloading and programming, but actually understanding muscle balance and which muscles, are there, if they're bigger and stronger than others, will prevent injury versus have higher chances of injury. And uh, building those go muscles is in your best interest if you don't want to be hurt. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.